Hello, I'm Joel, and welcome to another Gen AI workflow tutorial. Today, you'll learn how to create reference images for pre production using Leonardo AI. Communicating your ideas to your crew can be challenging. You need the perfect reference image to let them know exactly what you're looking for, whether that's a location, costume, or prop. With Leonardo, you can take fine-tuned control of the image creation process and make dynamic reference images in a range of styles. Today, we'll go through three key steps for creating reference images, building a base composition in real-time canvas, generating high-quality visuals in image creation, and experimenting with lighting and style variations. And by the end of this session, you'll be able to create reference images just like these. Consistent compositions in cinematic, artistic, and illustrative styles to communicate your vision. We'll start this workflow in real-time Canvas, our sketch to image tool that's perfect for taking fine-tuned control of your image composition. From here, I can use the Generate tool to generate an image inside of our canvas. I'm going to create a lighthouse scene, so I'll start by generating a lighthouse. I'll regenerate a couple versions until I find one that I like. Nice. I can use Remove Background to get rid of the background of the lighthouse and clear up our composition. Now I'll use a simple prompt to guide how the canvas will interpret this input. I'll say, lighthouse next to a mountain. I can also change the creativity strength with a higher value resulting in more randomness in the AI's interpretation of the input. I'm gonna set it at around 0.6 for today, as well as adjust the style. Today, I'm gonna to put it on cinematic. If I click and drag our lighthouse side to side, its position updates in real time. I can also resize it like this, so it takes up around a quarter of the frame. Now I'm gonna sketch the outline of our mountain in a nice green color. From here, I can edit the prompt to change the output again. For example, I can add in a storm and a cyclone. And then I can sketch out that cyclone again in white. From here, I can either click Instant Refine, which will update the quality in a couple of seconds, and then download that image for later use, or I can click Upscale. This will create a higher resolution version of that image that will live in my Leonardo image library. Awesome. Now we've got the base composition of our image down pat, and it's time to bring this image to life for our reference images. Okay, for this next step, we're gonna to wanna to navigate to image creation. So back to the home page and then to image creation here. Image creation is our home base for image generation. And for this workflow, we're gonna to move to the cinematic Kino preset. Presets are our pre-packaged features of generation settings and cinematic Kino is perfect for creating cinematic images. To use that image from before as a reference, let's head over to Image Guidance. So I'm gonna open up that menu using that icon just here, and then I'm gonna select Content Reference. This tool helps you generate images using the composition from the input image as a guide. It's perfect for creating high quality variations of your original image. Now, let's select that composition that I created in real-time canvas as a reference. If you upscaled it, you can find it here under your generations. If I click on the image here, 
you can see that I've got three options for strength. I've got low, mid, and high. I'm gonna set it to a medium strength today so that the AI has a bit of freedom to generate some additional details in the background of that image. To build out our prompt, let's use the Describe with AI feature. This feature translates your uploaded image into a prompt. And let's use that original image to get our prompt going. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I might just change a couple of details in the prompt to make sure that the output will indeed be a cinematic image. Now let's hit generate and see what we get. Okay, these are looking really nice, much more striking and much higher definition. From here, we can play around with different styles so we can communicate our references in different unique aesthetics. When creating reference images, particularly for storyboards, it can help to communicate in a more paired back or illustrative visual style. So let's use some elements to create illustrative style variations of that image composition. Elements are additional styles that you can layer on top of your generation to push it in a certain visual direction. You can find them here in the image guidance menu. Examples include anime or children's illustrations. Um, but today I'm gonna use abstract line art. This will give my generation a bit more of a hand-drawn aesthetic. And I'm gonna bump the strength up to 1.2. I'm also going to change the prompt a tiny bit to make it a hand-drawn image. Awesome, that's looking pretty cool and much more akin to a hand-drawn storyboard. But now if I want to push this the other way and create something that's more stylized and artistic, I can add on a different element. I'm going to try out the retro-futurism element. I'm going to leave the weighting on 0.8 Hopefully this will give our image a bit more of a sci-fi look and a dreamy feel to capture a different mood. Fantastic, these are looking pretty cool. So now we've got our reference image, composition intact in a few different styles, ready to present to our collaborators. You've now learned how to create professional reference images using AI that are ready to guide you through pre-production. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheers.